Hello, my name's Riz and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be improving on a previous hack that I did. This is the external mic hack mark 2. Now, this is uh, going to be pretty cool. Anyone who was interested in the first one but didn't want to lose their internal mic functions, well, this will resolve that. This video has been a long time in the making. I've really been struggling on a way to actually present it to everybody in a way that you know, people can follow and isn't too complicated, um, is nice and clear as well, and also getting the right shots in was quite difficult. So I hope it works. Um, would love some feedback on this as well. If you would like to do this, do it at your own risk. I end up ripping two ribbon cables in the process of making this. What I'll do is I'll include a link to the company where I got my replacement parts from, just in case. Uh, they're reasonably priced. They're like an official um, reseller of Sony camera parts. So uh, yeah, you should be able to find what you need there if you do end up breaking it. But again, you do this at your own risk. I can't take any responsibility for it. I'm just you know releasing this as a guide because I feel like this is a problem that a lot of people have. Like when I was at the photography show uh, last month, I met someone. He had exactly the same problem with his A6000. So I feel like this is a problem that people have. You know, they love the quality of Sony cameras and you know the images that you get out of them. Uh, but you know, a lot of them aren't quite don't really cater for vlogging or you know external audio recording at all. Like regardless of whether you want to vlog, I feel like external audio is very important in this day and age. Internal mics generally suck. So now that's been said, <laughs> uh, let's go over the things you're going to need. I'll include links to the things I bought and the 3D printed part uh, in the description at the bottom of this video. You will need a switching jack with five pins. You will need 30 gauge silicon wire. If you can get thinner wire, then please do. Uh, the less space you take up inside the camera, the better. You'll also need a way of mounting the external jack. Um, I have included a link to the uh, print that I designed um, on Thingiverse. Feel free to use that if you wish, but yeah, you need to find a way to mount it. The tools I used include a soldering iron, tweezers, and a small Phillips screwdriver. That's all. Don't need anything else. So let's get to the steps. First thing you'll need to do is dismantle the camera. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video because I went through that in the previous one. So if you haven't seen that, then uh, please click on this little card up here. Uh, watch that, it's fairly straightforward. And then come back to this video. You need to dismantle it to the point where you can remove the motherboard from the housing. Once you've done that, you don't need to touch the rest of the camera at all. Next thing is you need to desolder the orange wire from the right mic and both the black and orange wire from the left mic. And you need to remove these wires on both sides, so on the motherboard side and on the mic side. I would recommend that you take pictures as you go along. So take pictures before you've desoldered everything so you've got a point of reference because you need to make sure that you put the new wires on the mic in the right orientation, i.e. live and negative. Next, what you need to do is solder the new wires on. I cut way longer lengths than I needed for this. I would rather have too much than not enough. I also color coded these. So I used red wire for the right mic and I used blue wire for the left mic. The black wires have remained the same just because they are negative wires. So we want to connect 
connect one red wire to the motherboard on the right mic terminal and then one blue wire on the main board for the left terminal. We then want to connect the same colours to the respective mics. Now one way of doing this would be to get a length of wire, connect it from the motherboard to the mic and then cut it down the middle You've, and then job done. That's what I did for this. The next thing you want to do is connect two black wires to the left mic negative terminal. Now the way I did this to make sure it wasn't too fiddly was I got one length of black wire, folded it in half, stripped the cable on the end and then twisted the two ends together before tinning. Once I tinned the wire, then I soldered it to the main board. One half of it is going to go to the internal left mic. The other half is going to go out the jack that we're going to wire at a later step. The only other thing you need to do is put the camera back together. Now you need to route these cables around the flash housing and underneath various parts of the internal structure of the camera. Um, there is a metal back plate which I believe is used for heat dissipation and things like that um, and you need to try and get around all of that and then root it out of one of the side holes that we've created. We created these side holes by removing the strap mounts. I don't use the strap so it's not a problem for me. If you do use the strap then you might have to find another way of routing the cables out. Also this is another reason why you need as thin a gauge as possible because um, getting them out this hole is you know it, it's quite tight. Now you've done that, you've routed it all to where you need to go, or where they need to go, sorry, you can put the camera back together. Basically everything you did to dismantle it, but in reverse. Just please be careful that you don't damage any of the ribbon cables. Great, so you got this back together. Now the first thing I'd do before moving on is turn the camera on and make sure buttons are working. Make sure if it's the 5100, make sure the touchscreen's working, you know, just to make sure that you haven't snagged anything, take a few pictures, make sure the autofocus is working, shutter is working, all of those good things. Just to be safe, because you don't want to finish this project, get back to it, and then you find out that the cat well, vital function in the camera isn't working. The next thing you need to do is start to wire up the jack. In this illustration, you'll see what has to connect to what, and these pinouts are exactly the same as the physical pinout, even though this is just a rubbish Photoshop schematic. Once you've connected it, according to the schematic, um, this is where you need to start testing. Before gluing anything or doing anything like that, test it. So you want to Test with nothing plugged into the jack, make sure you're getting audio. So record a short clip, test the audio, and then uh, listen to it back. Make sure you're getting audio. If that works, plug your microphone jack into the jack socket and don't plug in a mic on the other end if that's possible. If it's not, find like uh, a headphone jack or something like that, something that doesn't have a mic attached to it, plug that in and then test another short clip. Make sure there's no audio coming out. That will mean that the switches are working and it has been wired up correctly. The next test will be to plug in the mic and do an external mic test. If the external mic test works, happy days. You are ready to start assembling and finishing this project off. So I use hot glue for the back of the jack socket to make sure it doesn't come out of the housing and also to attach it to the camera. Another thing that I did for my one, but you know, this is optional, it does look a lot neater if you do this, was to use heat shrink. A 
around to the wires. Just slide it on, get a lighter, you can use the side of your soldering iron, iron if you want to. Get a lighter, let it shrink to the wires. Uh, also make sure you cut the wires down to size and then just glue it all together as shown here. And that's it. I don't know if anyone made any sense of that. I don't know if I made any sense of it. But, uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like these kinds of videos? I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope somebody out there has found this useful. Uh, and, you know, if you do, like it, share it. If you like my content, please subscribe. Um, trying to build the channel at the moment and you know I'm slowly slowly getting more subscribers uh, I'm really enjoying making these videos though so uh, you yeah, know hopefully other people are as well and also yeah comment I think that's it bye for now mm -hmm.